How beautiful and joyful is our celebration of Christ's birth. The Savior is born who brings salvation to the whole world. Yet we hear in the scriptures that the shepherds were afraid when they first listened to this message. Mary and Joseph were also frightened when the angel first appeared to them. In each case, the angel had to assure them, do not be afraid. We also need to hear those words, do not be afraid. We have many fears, fears of disease, poor health, loss of work, changes in our family and society, and so many other things. This feast of Christmas is God's way of helping us overcome our fears. God knows the difficulties we face. He came to earth in equally challenging times. He was born in poverty and had to flee his homeland because a jealous king wanted to kill him. God's purpose in becoming human like us was to share our poverty, our insecurity, and our fear. But God's more important purpose was to give us a way out of our difficulties. As Isaiah announced hundreds of years earlier, the expected Savior will bring light into our darkness, joy into our sorrow, peace into our world. That is the Savior whose arrival the angels announced to the shepherds. The shepherds, for their part, needed faith to overcome their fear and to recognize in the helpless child in the manger the Savior of the world. Later on, Jesus' disciples would also need that faith to see in the bruised and bleeding man on the cross the true victor over sin and death. We also need faith to see Christ leading us from darkness to light, from cruelty to love, from fear to hope. Faith is not just something that happens in our minds, but something that happens in our lives. When God gives us faith that Jesus Christ is God and our Savior, it changes our life. We're willing then to follow Jesus' commandments, to treat one another with respect and love, to do the virtuous thing and to avoid sin, to live as though God is in charge. Because of that faith, we can overcome our fear and recognize in the baby of Bethlehem our badly needed Savior, Christ the Lord. As I reflect on this past year, I am filled with gratitude for your prayers and your kindness. You have made an immense impact on all of us at conception. The monks and I pray that Christmas will be for you a time of new life, of hope fulfilled, and of continued blessings and peace. May the Son of God bless you and your family this Christmas and throughout the new year. Know that you are in our prayers and in our hearts.